here in the farmhouse with lots to do. Like this puzzle. This is a jigsaw puzzle. And it looks like it could be difficult. We're clearly making a portrait of a woman. the character from the one game uh, here uh, this one awakening the golden age you can kind of see her there yeah it's totally her so that's a prequel game so that's 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 who she is all right let's look over here this is dusty I'm going to clean it with my cleaning rag great but it's still missing some parts I need to fix those parts all right then Look here, that needs... Oh, this puzzle. Hey, let's see. Can I clean this off with my cleaning rag? Yes. And so this puzzle requires you to find all the various differences between the right-hand side and the left-hand side. It's like different colors, different stems. And that's about all I can find. Let's go over here to the left. There's some differences on the left. There's a stem, there's a stem, there's a stem. Those are all different. Now I found 12 of the seven, ooh, 13 of the 17 differences. And now I have no idea what to do to solve this puzzle besides just clicking randomly. Oh, that's a difference too. Okay, only two more. Hint Fairy says uh, that's one. Thank you, Hint Fairy. I'm going to use the Hint Fairy for the final difference. It's that one there. It takes about a minute to do the Hint Fairy. You know, the Hint Fairy loads rather slowly, so I, I don't want to force you all to, to wait, wait that long. So this is also a difficult puzzle. What we're trying to do is create a, like a dragon figure. Pay no attention to the colors. What you really need to pay attention to is the shape. That's all. Shape. So this dragon's going to be spitting out fire. There we go. I think those were the dragon's wings, actually. Let's get those dragon's wings up there. Okay, so what's the next part of the dragon? It's got to have wings. Uh, maybe that's a bit farther down. Is this the wings? Like this? Yes! Kind of, and then let's get another thing of wings. I don't see any. And that's obviously not the tail. Um, let's see. This might be the wings. Yeah, that. Okay. Okay, now we just need to find a connecting piece. A line on top, and then a line on bottom. Non by see some of these other animals. This is gonna be like a bird. Yeah, we're gonna have a bird here, maybe. Yeah, that totally looks like a bird. Okay, well, let's focus on making this bird, I guess. Bird wings here. Grapes, and this is gonna be a bird with a long tail. It's probably gonna be a phoenix. That looks good. So if I could find a perfect connector. Nice. Okay, and then the final one is going to be a bear of some sort. Griffin? Let's see. It's going to have a claw here. This could be the dragon butt. 
no. Hmm. Yeah, no, that, that, that's wrong. Good. Back legs there. Maybe this is the dragon's stomach. Ooh, maybe, yeah, that's the dragon's... Start of the dragon's... There's, got it! Okay. Whew. Long puzzle. Okay, and we're gonna click on these pieces of paper, getting rid of them. Giving me that. That is for a figurine puzzle right over here. We don't have... Oh, wait, we do have this. Okay, so this puzzle, we need to put everything into place. So, this guy is gonna go over here. Yep, he's gonna be standing next to this one. So, what's the one that looks like that? This? No, no, because we need to see the shoulders. Ah! That one? Maybe? I don't know. Okay, this is gonna be the one with the flag. Standing next to one with feet like that. Okay, we got those feet. And it's, he's gonna be directly above the one with the axe. Yeah, but then this one, it's like, this picture shows somebody with a sword, right? Not an axe. So that's why it gets a little, a little complicated. Alright, let's see here. There we go. That's the solution. And this gives us just throws us right into another puzzle. So many kind of long, complicated puzzles here. This puzzle is to make a picture of the Fairy Queen. I believe we've seen pictures of her before, so this shouldn't be too, like, super new. What does she look like again? Uh, collectibles, help me out here. Oh! can barely see her in that picture. Well, that's okay. This piece is gonna go here, because it's got the little blues. Um, more reds, where are those red pieces? Okay, probably red piece over here, but not there, so... Not there, ah, got it. Red piece there for the arm red piece over there. Okay, so that's her uh, dress. This is the red edge to her dress, so it's gotta go like... not that, I guess. Maybe up here? Nope. Okay, trying to get her uh, dress all figured out. It's a little, a little complicated. Similarly, her wings are a little complicated. This wing not there. Maybe this one there. Hmm. Alright. There we go. That's that. Okay. Feels like this fairy wing should be there, right? Good. Good. Okay. We're making some progress here. This has got to be her shoulder because it's got a bit of her wing there. This has... Her hair has to be that part that's mostly gray. That goes there. Her hand goes here. This probably... I figure out these two. That there. That there. And there is your fairy queen. Um, yeah. So this is a history image. I imagine, so this is probably the fairy queen from Awakening the Golden Age. Or not, who knows? How long do fairy queens live? I have no idea. Fairy queens probably live a long time because they're fairies. Okay, let's see. We have an axe. Uh, we, uh, not an axe, but we use it to crush that thing. And we need to find a bunch of feathers, our item. Oh, let's look in here. Old clothes. That's an item we need. And what's inside this? Gems. Also an item we need. And a hook is an item we need. Great, so we need to find opera glasses. Okay, I use this to cut that. This is giving us a puzzle. With this puzzle, you want to move everything into place. Start with the big ones, I guess. Where does this big one go? Okay, it's a three by three, so it has to go up there. This is like a three by two, so it has to go up there. 
Um, two by two, probably hit him there. Really tall one here. Somewhat tall one there. And the ones that are on their sides, there. Gives us a sword. Beautiful. Opera glasses. Violin. I need to find a pine cone. Okay, yarn over here. To get myself a dream catcher. I need to find a perfume bottle. There's a pine cone. Still need two. Okay, move that aside. Still need two things for my feather duster. Now I only need one. That is not a perfume bottle. Ooh, yeah. I'm not seeing anything. Let's just use Hint Fairy. Hint Fairy says this is a puzzle. Okay, now I'm sure this is an image from Awakening Golden Age. I seem to remember that cute little girl in the village. Yeah. That's nice. So we are collecting. Ah, and there's a perfume bottle. It was hidden there. No wonder I couldn't find it. So we're definitely collecting images from that game for some reason. Well, I, I know the reason. It's for a history puzzle. We will do it inside the tavern, but first we need to finish that feather duster. I'm gonna use Hint Fairy for this. Hint Fairy says, okay, I grab that cane and I use it on that bird cage. All right, kind of a tricky puzzle. And in the bird cage is the final feather for the feather duster. Yeah, I found all these items, lots of items actually. Feather Duster is gonna go over here. I can use it on all the various dirty spots. And that gives me a hidden objects challenge. I haven't seen one of those in a while. Uh, a monocle. I need to crumple up that paper. Yes. I'm gonna use this to slice that. No, not that button. I'm gonna use it to slice open that envelope with the code for the padlock outside. I need to find all these various stamps. I need to find the hood for that character. Lens for the magnifying glass. Sword for that character as well. Now I have a nutcracker. This will wind up that, opening it. Okay, I got some coins. And it doesn't look like there's anything else inside there. There's another tile. That's what we're looking. We're just looking for tiles overall. I'm gonna solve that puzzle in a moment. Looks like I need a, a bell. There's a ladybug. Oh, I guess that wasn't a ladybug. I'm gonna sharpen this pencil to do that angel sketch. says I'm going to cut this, and I see the bell right now. That gives me a button, and the crumpled paper. Good. Do I have a tile piece over here? Yes, it looks like I might need one more tile piece. And, oh, more stamps. Now I've got the stamp puzzle. Ladybug's over here. Well, that was a really easy stamp puzzle. <laughs> That was, uh, deceptively easy. The final tile piece is over here. Yep. And this puzzle can be difficult. What you need to do is click on the pieces and rotate them. That's wrong. But the two pieces that are, like, stems are over here on the left. Oh man, don't click too many times. Don't click too many times. That's a bummer when you do it like that. Good. Oh, didn't mean to click out of the puzzle. Yes. Nope, no, 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 no. So just sort of click over here on the right, the safe area, and that's how you can uh, avoid, that's how you can deselect a piece. And here we go. Center piece is good giving me the tile piece. 
Now I have history images and the barn code. I have three of the five history images. Hint fairy, anything else here? Hint fairy says yes. Gemstones go here. Okay, beautiful. So you want to click to rotate these tiles. It's simple because they're... I mean, this is a really simple puzzle. Just click to get rid of all those circles. And then we want to put these tiles in place. I mean these gems in place. This is also relatively simple. Just do it based on the shape. Let's see. This is going to be pink, maybe? And this is going to be blue. That gives me another history image. Hooray! We are just finding all those history images. Okay, so the barn code was 5073. Oops, clicked too many times there. Hooray, and that gives me a hidden objects challenge! I haven't seen one of those in a while. I love these challenges, but I think I'll save this one for the next video.